Welcome back, Stoss23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and today I have another unboxing for y'all coming from a knife center. Um, I, I saw this on their site, and I thought it looked pretty intriguing. Hopefully it is as nice as it looked, because it's been a while since I got excited from a knife for, from a knife from this company, not saying that the company makes bad knives, it's just we all have our taste and just have it and nothing has wowed me with this sea of knives everywhere. So we got a Kershaw. Like I said, it's been a while since I've bought in a Kershaw. Um, I think they this came on the site, it was maybe Thursday or Friday of last week, I'm not sure, but let's see what we got so this right here is the kershaw inception 2031 and uh, there's a few reasons why this knife kind of spoke to me so here's the knife Ooh, nice so we got g10 scales oversized uh tube right there that can serve as a lanyard hole as well i'm sure let's check out this action Ooh. I thought it looked attractive. Um, it's a little smaller than I thought it was, but that's fine. Two-way positional pocket clip, tip up, deep carry. It's an in-house design. There's a little in-house right there. This one's in D2. It's kind of got a funky grind. You can see how it, it widens up as it goes up. Something I can fix when I sharpen it. This side is perfectly straight this side is wonky as can be see this right here but it wasn't a super expensive knife um origin i mean you know first impressions on the ergonomics feel pretty good this one is not assisted it's a manual operated uh kvt bearings give it a few shakes it'll break in very snappy action it's got a little side to side right now, but I could probably tighten that up. One thing I'm feeling right off the back though is the lock bar right there. I'm gonna have to use the fat of my thumb to disengage that because it's not the most comfortable. But this, <laughs> I have a feeling whenever I go to use it, it might become a hotspot city. And the only problem with doing this type of thing is you're forcing somebody into a certain grip, which it feels like it works out for my hands. We'll have to see once I do the testing for this, if this is a review y'all would like to see. Um, it's not that often that Kershaw does, you know, in a knife that's either not assisted or, uh, or, you know, not assisted, but it's in like, 3CR steel or something so I thought it was a cool little package for the money um, G10 D2 uh, bearings very snappy action and I'm sure it would break in I think aesthetically it's a pleasing design let's get some size comparisons so y'all can have a better idea these are the last two Kershaw's that that kind of got me excited um, and like I said, they, they, they make great knives and they're all good. I just, they, they didn't speak to me. That's all I'm saying. I know somebody's going to say down in the comments, they make awesome knives. They do. So the tumbler was one that really got me excited. And I still like that knife besides the wonky edge termination. And this is the highball XL that I sharpened up myself. And I like this one a lot as well. It's a little heavy, but it's a good knife. Uh, I had to fix the detent on it though. It was kind of weak. So this one, out of box, besides the edge, seems like it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good made knife. Um, not super thin feeling behind the edge, but we'll see. And sharpness. Yeah, it feels pretty sharp. It's catching my skin a little bit there. So there you go. What do you think about it? Um, did you pick one of these up? If you did, how was yours? Was the edge bevel good on both sides? And what's thoughts on Kershaw right now? 
This is an overseas produced Kershaw. It says it right there. Um, that's the same type of uh, things that Poltergeist Works uses a lot. Those pivots where you can see through them. I mean, those spacers. You got a stylized pivot. What it looks like a pivot ring right there. I don't know. I thought it was interesting. Love to hear y'all thoughts down below. And your thoughts on Kershaw as a brand. Um, what's the last Kershaw you picked up? And I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. Stay tuned if you want to see my full thoughts and testing on the Kershaw Inception uh, model 2031. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.